have really seen how the PPI, through the civil journalism, has reached out to the communities across the country. We see that this powerful partnership has already made such great impact that we feel more private companies should be a part of this. And we are very happy to know that Mr. King Chong and uh, Sir Commissioner Tim will be joining us next year and that this year, SMART is participating. So we welcome more of the support. Applause again. Thank you. We appreciate more private institutions participating and joining the PPI as it recognizes the best of the best. Let me repeat what I shared with you this morning, not about the crabs, and about the crabs. Business can only thrive if the community grows, and we believe that you, the media, the PPI in particular, play a very big role in growing the community. Your vigilance and commitment to share the news objectively and responsibly make for an informed and empowered community. An empowered community is a progressive community. We are one with you in working for a better Philippines and we are committed to doing our share to make this a really a reality for the partnership and through our other programs in the community. In behalf of my president of Coca-Cola, I would like to extend our appreciation and thanks for the great 10 years of civic journalism, journalism and we look forward to building more better communities with you through our partnership in the years to come. Maraming salamat, mabuhay ang PPI, ituloy ang happiness. Thank you very much, Wally. Wally, can we ask you to remain on stage? Uh, because uh, we are going to ask you to present a uh, special class. Uh, Alright. Uh, Jake, magsahed also, to talk on stage, please.
1984, she was appointed by President Fidel V. Ramos to the Court of Appeals. In September 2003, upon the unanimous endorsement of the members of the Judicial and Bar Council, she was appointed to the Supreme Court by former President Gloria Macapagal Aroy. The third speaker brought honor and respect to the highest court of the land during her tenure as the young president. I think Chairman Makasai already emphasized this earlier. During the centenary of the UP in 2008, the UP Alumni Association conferred on her the outstanding award in championing justice and judiciary, and I quote, for delivering justice with courage and internal integrity. Shining paragon to all magistrates, worthy of emulation and respect, end of quote. My idol journalist, Juan Mercado, loves to quote our guest of honor in his columns. Mr. Mercado's favorite line comes from a dissenting opinion our speaker wrote just a few months before her retirement from the court, and I quote, the argument that Ofuanco was not a subordinate or close associate of the Marcoses is the biggest joke to the century, and I quote. This was from the dissenting opinion on the Supreme Court ruling that Mr. Ofuanco was the legitimate owner of 20% of the conglomerate San Miguel Corporation. Our guest of honor is the first woman magistrate to administer on June 3 the vote of all of, president, of the President of the Republic of the Philippines. Her appointment as the country's chief draft buster was announced by President Aquino during the second State of the Nation address on July 25, 2011. So that means she's not yet in office for a year. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to introduce the Honorable Ombudsman Justice Carter. Justice Kachita Morales. Thank you. 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 Thank I'd like to thank the PPI, again led by Chairman and President Masaev, for graciously and warmly welcoming to this gathering to recognize the best of the best in the practice of community journalism. I'm delighted and honored to take part in where the best ideas and practices in journalism were shared and the top concerns and challenges how the journalists were determined. Much acknowledgement should go to PBI's efforts in remaining firm and vigilant in its commitment to seek the truth and in so doing, pushing forward the campaign of transparency and accountability, not only in the public sphere, but also in the private sector, including PBI's Act of Balance Policing is on ranks. Nine months ago, upon my assumption into office of the country's ombudsman, I was suddenly introduced or immersed from unfamiliar grounds in terms of hand media attention and presentations. I have to admit that it takes time to adjust to the present conditions from the atmosphere when I was still wearing the judicial robe and insulated from the press. A journalist was heard commenting on the direction task that President Kim has issued to the Ombudsman in his March purpose after reading some comments from the public who expressed misgivings that the new Ombudsman might be beholden to the President. First, it cannot be denied that the task that lies ahead is indeed daunting. But as far as I'm concerned, and I keep saying to people who ask me how I am coping with the amount of work, I reply without the slightest hint of compunction. I am enthusiastic. It's time to forward to a day's work. Some say it's an insurmountable problem. I say it's just a big challenge. Others say that the office is in big trouble. I say it is in serious 
this business. Second, I take marching orders from no one except the Constitution. It is true that I